I'm John Bowden. We have an update on Elton John's condition since he contracted COVID-19 a few days ago. This is Rock History Music. We just got off a Zoom call with Davy Johnstone, his longtime guitarist, the guy who joined on Madman Across the Water. There's been a few stints through the years where he wasn't with Elton John, but he is the longest lasting member of an Elton John band. Nigel Olsen would be number two, his drummer. It's Friday, January 28th, so that you know where we're at. Here's part of my chat with David Johnstone. How's, uh, how's Elton feeling? Um, well, you know, he hasn't got many symptoms, which is good. Um, so we're in good shape for tomorrow night's show because, you know, once you test positive, you know, according to the CDC and all these guidelines we have, uh, you have five days of isolation and quarantine, and then you're basically good to go if you don't have any symptoms. So um, he should be fine for tomorrow night. We're keeping our fingers crossed. I'm here in Little Rock, Arkansas, waiting for, uh, waiting for a chance to play some music. You know, when I heard, I, I, I usually wait to the last minute to listen to the to the album if I'm interviewing an artist and uh, Deeper Than My Roots, you know, you know, I came out of that, not that there's anything wrong, I love the singing from, you know, your son, uh, it, it, it's fantastic, it's a well put together album, you, you, the sequence is unbelievable, but I did come out of that thinking, maybe in the future, I kind of like to hear one of those Jeff Becky kind of Davy Johnstone album, the instrument, I mean, the instrumental songs on here are crazy. Thank you. Yeah, it, this was an, the whole project idea was because I'm, I'm a songwriter also. I've been a songwriter forever and I've written a few with Elton. And my, my thing has always been make whatever album you decide to do. And obviously it's been a long time since I did one, 48 years, somebody told me the other day. So, um, but when you're doing something, it was a conversation I had, it came out with John Lennon. We were talking about albums and I was turning him on to some bands uh, like Little Feet that he'd never heard of in the meters and you know, really cool stuff that happened in the early to mid seventies. And he was digging it a lot. And, and he said to me, you know, in my opinion, an album is like a little postcard of where you are at the time. So I, I love the idea that, you know, because if I, sure, I could make an album of all Jeff Becky, as you say, type instrumentals, but that's what it would be. And that's really not all that I am. I tend to be more of a overall, I'm a songwriter. I tend to make people's, um, other people's music, hopefully better with my, what I contribute to that. So I'm a great believer in, in um, collaborations. And, and that's really one of the reasons why I managed to press gang my, my kids into, into doing this record with me and, and it was just a wonderful experience and one that I just I'm so happy that I did because I mean when do you ever get a chance to do something like that I mean the answer is very rarely and probably never so I'm very thrilled with with what happened with it we had a great time doing it black black Scotland to me I I just go this guy's just taking me on a freaking journey I mean I like I mean it's a lot of the stuff you've done with Elton you know like a, a funeral for a friend love lies bleeding that's a freaking journey but this that song really Black Scotland that that kudos to you my friend like really oh, thank you yeah I always considered it as being like because I wrote it the same days I recorded it um, in my my home in California and um, Bob Birch uh, who unfortunately our dear departed bass player from Elton's band who passed away in uh, 2012 uh, it was his last performances he he played on Black Scotland and the other instrumental. Walt Disney, because we did them on the same day uh, back then in, in, um, in, in 2012, I think around May we did them. And I think it was about the last recorded things that Bob ever did. So they're very special to me. And they're the only older pieces that are on the record. But I have actually thought about doing, um, when I get around to doing another one, which I'll be doing after we finish this farewell tour, if we ever finish it, um, which will be a lot more um, rocky. This one is much more, this album is kind of like a pop, folk, rock, really a collaboration of all the things that I like and, and some cool, easy, easy listening stuff. The Black Scotland one is really interesting that you mentioned it because um, um, it was named, actually. I got the name from Little Richard. Um, we were doing a, a, a thing, a concert with various artists. You know, George Michael was on it, Cheryl Crow and Don Henley, and Little Richard was one of the artists. And I was the MD. So I was running all these guys through what songs they wanted to do on the show. And we're playing behind Richard and we're doing uh, Lucille. 
and great balls of fire. So we're rocking away like crazy. And Richard's out there pounding away and jumping up and down and doing his thing. And at the end of the, the song, we did it. He turned around to me and he said, where are you from? And I said, I'm from Scotland. He said, well, honey, you must be from the black part of Scotland. Right? So I just went, okay, I got to write that one down. And Black Scotland became a, a name that I was going to use for instrumental. And that's, that's what that one is. We'll have more of my chat with Davy Johnstone in the next few days. We're also going to put the whole thing on our sister channel, Rock History Book. This is John Bowden. Make sure you subscribe. It's very important. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. Click on that bell notification so you really don't miss anything we do. Share our videos on social media. If you like what we do, we'd appreciate it if you put them on Facebook or Twitter and comment on our videos as well. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. Take care of yourself.